So guys, if you haven't heard the big news yet, Bumblebee is now going to be rebooting the Transformers franchise, which is totally awesome because I'm not sure how this would go if it was just a prequel. I'm pretty sure there would be no more G1 characters like we got to see in like the past Bumblebee movie, but I'm really excited. We have details about this reboot, so let's get into it. So the most recent news we actually got was at the 2019 Toy Fair at Hasbro's panel. They actually talked about a new storytelling universe for the Transformers franchise. So basically, Bumblebee started this new franchise. So this is going to be based on a whole lot more G1 characters. G1 Optimus, G1 Wheeljack, G1 Ratchet, G1 Bumblebee, and of course, G1 Megatron, G1 Starscream, G1 Soundwave, and G1 Shockwave, and a whole lot more characters. But right off the bat, we get an exciting new universe that we're going to explore, so yes, just really exciting news to hear that. And one of the producers, Lorenzo D. Bonventura, I hope I said your name right, basically said that they actually wanted to bring some families back because they stopped watching because of the Michael Bay films of the Transformers franchise, but they're hoping to bring some people back to actually watch this new universe, and basically they're trying to bring in new families to watch this new universe too. But yes, it seems like they're also trying to please the core fans who actually really like G1 Transformers, which is very cool. And there's some possible Transformers movies that have been going around that they have been greenlit, like the animated Cybertron movie that's basically talking about Cybertron and like the Autobots and Decepticons. I think that's a really cool idea. And there's also probably like a Bumblebee sequel in the works, and I'm not sure if that one's been greenlit yet, but it seems like it would be interesting to catch up with Bumblebee again. And of course, an Optimus Prime solo movie talking about probably his like origins on Cybertron, how did he become rivals with Megatron, and all those three movies could have been greenlit, so they could be in production. But yes, I'm really excited for all three, and I'd probably see all three. And I am really glad, like I said before, about getting a reboot in the Transformers franchise because there's a lot of questions I really want answered, like what happened to Optimus Prime when he was being surrounded by those army of Decepticons? Like, was he captured? I think that would be really cool to actually see him captured and he breaks out, gets the remaining Autobots, and leaves Cybertron. Or what about Megatron? Like, is he just floating in space now? He's not on Cybertron. And he's not on Earth. But I think it would be really cool to actually see him if he's actually on Cybertron still and he wasn't in that battle. And like when Optimus Prime is captured, we would actually get to see the reveal of Megatron and he was just wasn't in that battle. I think that would be really cool. But yes, I really want these questions answered. But for all you Michael Bay fans out there, I really don't think that there will be a Transformers 6 really because this is just announced to be a reboot, so it won't actually have any more Michael Bay Transformers, and I'm sorry for you guys that actually really wanted to see that Transformers 6 movie, because Transformers The Last Night left you off on a cliffhanger, and, like, you don't get to see the answer, but it's fun to speculate, and I am just happy what we got. I did like some of the movies. Probably Dark of the Moon was my favorite, but I'm really looking forward to this new universe. So I really consider the Michael Bay universe to be, like, a separate universe. Like, this is the current universe now, and Michael Bay's universe is for, like, a past or, like, just another universe. Now, I am really happy with this reboot, as I said multiple times in this video, because I really think if Paramount and Hasbro play their cards right, they can actually make a really good Transformers franchise. Like, keep the same G1 designs that, like, Travis Knight used, because a lot of people like those, and that's why it, like, was really successful, because everyone liked the G1 designs, and I really think Shatter and Dropkick's designs could be used more for, like, those triple changers, because... I really think they're cool for triple changers, like, I think it would be cool to have G1 designs for regular Autobots and Decepticons, but for triple changers, I think it would be cool to have, like, the same design, or, like, a close design to Shatter and Dropkick, so yeah, I really think this can work out if they actually just play their cards right. I wonder why I think, like, the first of these reboot movies will probably be coming out. Well, I don't think we're actually going to get one this year, but I do think we're actually going to be getting one in 2021. Really because everyone says they're going to probably be coming out that year, and I really believe them because animation takes time, you have to make a really good story, and yeah, the animation takes a while to actually make, and you have to get the right voice actors, make a script. It takes a lot of time to actually sort of get everything in place, and you don't want to rush it or else it'll become bad and no one will want to watch it. So yes... I'm gonna actually gonna make update videos on like what like the update are on like new movies and stuff. But yes guys, let's just move on. 
Now, if we're actually gonna get all three of these movies, the Bumblebee sequel, Optimus Prime spinoff, and the Cybertron movie, I wanna list one thing I would actually like in each of these movies. Starting off the Bumblebee sequel, I would actually like to see the rivalry between Bumblebee and Soundwave because I think it would be really cool and I'll get into that like in a later video. But moving on, I actually really think for the Optimus Prime spinoff movie that we should actually see the rivalry between Optimus and Megatron and definitely his origin story and how he actually got away from all those Decepticons and how he actually made it to Earth. And who are the seven Autobots coming to Earth? I think that's really good questions that could have been answered in the Optimus Prime spinoff movie. Now for the Cybertron movie, I would really want to see like the rivalry between Autobots and Decepticons, their origins, who created the Autobots, who created the Decepticons, I'm not sure, and I think like for like newcomers, like the new families that like um, Lorenzo D. Bonventura actually talked about, like how they wanted to bring new families into the franchise, I think that could be a really good like starter for them, like actually like introduce like Autobots, Decepticons, who are they, who created them, and Cybertron. I really think that could be good for the Cybertron movie. But yes, guys, that's the end of it for today. I hope you're all excited for this new reboot. I am. I'm really excited to see what the new movies are going to be holding and the trailers. I'm definitely actually going to be talking about more about this new reboot. But yes, until next time, guys, you're all awesome. Hope you have a great day.